Hey guys and welcome back to the Toronto FC career mode episode number five. Today we'll be doing the normal four games. We have Chicago first and then we have Chicago again. We will be playing the away leg, simming the home leg. And then we go to Atlanta and then we will be home again at the NYC FC. And we will be playing the Atlanta and the Chicago game in this episode. And we also have the player upgrade brought to you by Squirrel Man. He wanted any Mercy or Brute, so we gave him the Nike Superfly Elite Wolf Grays. And then he also wanted long sleeves, untucked, and normal sock height. And this is your player. Alright, the only change we're making for this game is Indoa is coming in for De Leon. I feel like Indoa played a hell of a game last game. And Cooper will be on the bench for this game. We might bring him in just at the very end of the game to get him one of those five games he has to play in. All right, Chicago are in third place in the East. We are currently in fifth, so playing this game will actually work in our favor. We have, we're going to be simming the next game, so we'll see how this works. And we are underway. The kickoff, the game is underway. But Daniel Sturridge has been very... Very good like for us in uh, well, we a couple games we play with them. They are working me. What a save. And that's a goal for Katai. The rebound goal. Eight minutes in. Like I said, we had to sort out the defense. Oh my gosh, Frankowski. And that's another goal. And we're down 2 0. That's a great breakaway. What a great Time through ball. Time to perfection. I have no clue what our defense is doing. Yeah, you see this but I know should have saved that. Mother. Up going into halftime. Down 2-0. The they only have two shots, two goals. Sorry, they have three shots, two goals. I can't even get a shot off. This is very boring. Very boring first half of football. Wanted to join Barcelona. The Tubs have agreed the deal is completed. Oh, come on. We got to get on the end of that, Daniel. Let's go, Daniel Sturge. Pass him out the door. Good ball movement right there. That was a great pass from Jose out the door. Great finish from Daniel Sturge. And right after kickoff, we give up a goal. As soon as we didn't even get the chance to touch the ball, Alexander Katai puts one back in the back of the net again. Let's go! Lyara finally scores. 2 3. We're still, we're still in this game somehow. And that's the game. 3 2 loss to Chicago. They had three bullshit goals, I would say, but it is what it is. And Okola finally grows to a 63, and Jay Cooper has reached the 50 mark. And now we have the home leg versus Chicago, who we just lost to 3-2. Hopefully we can pick up a draw here, or at least maybe pick up a win. That'd be pretty nice. And we pick up a draw. A 1-1 draw after we just played 3-2. Uh, lost to them so at least we get a point out of this episode already so with that loss of the center back seaman and mavinga will be playing a lot more because i don't really trust dunn at the center back position right now he still needs to grow a little bit more and we're off at mercedes-benz stadium versus lane united the highest scoring team along with jose martinez being the highest scoring player in the league. For them. They've got to be strong and solid. They've got a bit of protection, haven't they? Nice and they start the, start the game off. I can't even get nowhere near the ball, and they start with a shot. Saw the pass coming and got there first. And shoots. Oh, what a shot from Pizuelo. Good save from Guzan. Daniel Sturridge. Opportunity now. 
Let's go, Panzuela. Let's go. The way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. What a Golden shot. Position, nice little first touch. Puts the ball in the back of the net. We're up on Atlanta. Let's go. Josie Altidore. Pass threaded through. It's a good cross. Ah, oh, right back cross goal. Couldn't get to it. Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge. Let's go, Daniel. Two up on Atlanta. Daniel Sturge's fifth goal of the season already. Not bad. Now Daniel Sturridge. Trying to now the shot. Could have been his second. The goalkeeper. Two nil at halftime. Half We're up on Atlanta. One change at halftime. Yeah, Seaman's coming off time. for Dunn. Dunn needs to get some playing time. We need to get him better. Club and around 45 million pounds. I think that's money well spent. Couldn't get around Gressel. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. Lovely ball. That was a hell. That was 100% my fault. That was a hell of a goal. Pity Martinez. We've got some strength, hasn't it, to shield the ball. Martinez. The shots hit the post. Oh my gosh. And a whistle. Let's go. There is the that last chance whistle. scared the shit out of me. I knew it was coming. The way they were holding me off from the ball. What a big three points from us. Very big three points. Akinola actually grows up to a 66. So he's only four, four growth points away from stop training and then Cooper is now at a 52 so the next game against NYC FC we are currently on 33 points sitting in fifth place and they are currently on 30 points sitting in seventh place so the playoff race is mighty tight in the Eastern Conference so hopefully we can at least get a draw or pick up the win here that would be highly ideal And we pick up the 2-1 victory over NYC FC, but we have a problem. Seaman has gotten injured. Hopefully it's not for a while. And looking at the Eastern Conference, you have Montreal still in first place with 50 points. That's just freaking crazy. And the Red Bulls are in second. Chicago, Atlanta, us in fifth place on 36 points. DC has moved into sixth place. Columbus. NYC FC, New England, Philly, or in Orlando. So all the way down to ninth place is still can still make the playoffs. I don't think that Philly and Orlando will be able to put anything together to come back for this. In the Western Conference, Sporting Kansas City, LA, Houston, RSL, Seattle, Dallas, Colorado, LAFC, Portland, San Jose, Vancouver and then Minnesota. Minnesota is by far the worst team this year. And the Western Conference is actually kind of weak compared to the East. So it looks like Montreal is going to win Supporter Shield and also the Canadian Cup. Damn. I don't I we smacked them in the first game we played them. But we do have a game coming up against them in the next episode, so hopefully we can smack them again and take 3 points off them. Well, that'll be it for today's episode. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all again later.